Hey everyone, Wayne Fox here. Just a quick video today about something I discovered in Lightroom. I was testing my uh, series of Lightroom tests on my new M3 Max MacBook Pro. Done it every, I've done it on about every MacBook Pro since 2015, at least the higher end models. And just try to see how they do. And I was surprised to find out that exporting files was excruciatingly slow. Uh, 500 Sony A7R files with some develop module changes in them took over 12 minutes, which is just the M2 Max last year was under seven, I believe. So I did a few tests and worked on a little bit. And what I found uh, on a forum, a suggestion by one person was sometimes when you migrate, uh, something happens in Lightroom. And if you uninstall Lightroom and reinstall it, it seems to fix the problem. So that's what I tried. I used Adobe Cloud and uninstalled it. And then I reinstalled it after a restart and ran the same test again. It took less than half the time. So I'm not sure what's going on. Let me just share with you some of the specific numbers and what happened before and after. There's a few other things going on with the M3 Max. The thermals are different, so it seems to, uh, exporting, it seems to kind of start fast and kind of slow down. It still is faster, but the fans kick up a little louder. It seems like they start off a little slower. I'm actually gonna work a video on a video on that anyway. But the good news is it is faster and by quite a bit. Uh, the test on the M3 Max versus the M2 and the M1, I'll have in another couple weeks. Anyway, let me just show you some of the data and the details to show you what happened. If your exports are kind of slow, uh, then you might need to do this. Now, if you're not exporting large numbers of files, if you're not that kind of a shooter, which actually I'm not, but if you're a wedding shooter or something like that, where you are exporting hundreds of files at a time, you might find that this will speed things up. I assume you found this video because you're searching for this exact problem. Anyway, let me just show you some of the data. So I ran the test on my M2 Max as well. And what I found that last year, uh, exporting these files, these are 500 Sony A7R4 files, no changes in the develop module. So basically import and straight export are JPEG to 60 and 4,000 pixels long, it took two minutes last year. And this year it was taking three minutes and three seconds. So about 50% longer. And once I reinstall Lightroom on the old M2 Max, it dropped all the way down to 151. So that surprised me a little bit. The difference wasn't quite so dramatic when I exported files that have been modified in the develop module. My basic process is here. I have an XMP sidecar file attached to the first one that loads up about 15 dust spots, a couple of graduated filters, and a bunch of global changes. I just basically sync that one file to all 400 or 500 files. So they all have the exact same changes to them, but this means Lightroom has to actually render those files before it can export them with a little more work than just simply resizing and compressing them. And last year on the M2, this took six minutes and 44 seconds, and now it took seven minutes and 17 seconds. Not nearly as dramatic, and after a reinstall of Lightroom, I was back down to basically the same amount of time. So on the M3 Max MacBook Pro, the first time I ran this test with the unprocessed files with no changes, it took five minutes and 22 seconds, and that's where I was surprised. That's a long time. I mean, it was obvious to me something was going on. Uninstall Lightroom, reinstall it, and now I'm down to one minute and 16 seconds. Just to compare, that takes 151 on the M2 Max. So about a 25% increase or savings in time over the M2 Max for the M3 Max, just as a side note there. Now here's where it really jumped out. I exported the files after they've had the develop module changes and adjustments made, and I could not believe how long it took. It was 12 minutes and 15 seconds, and I was just sitting there waiting, what is going on? After the reinstall, I that went down to five minutes and 45 seconds. So half of the time, less than half of the time, uh, just by doing a uninstall and reinstall of Lightroom Classic. I do not know what's going on, and I do know that these export times are inconsistent as I've been doing uh, more tests. It seems like it all depends on if you're, you know, start the machine fresh, make sure it's not hot. But the bottom line is I don't have anything close to 12 minutes going on anymore. And compared to the M2 Max, that's about a 30 second saving. So that was about a 10% savings, maybe eight to 10%. So after that, my M3 Max is performing more like I expected it to. Now, some tests, it was quite a bit different, but not the substantial savings we saw going from Intel to the M1 Max, for example. But the M3 definitely has some better speed improvements than some of the people on YouTube and some of the other testers are saying, especially when it comes to Lightroom and Photoshop. Not as substantial as before, and if you're using an M2 Max, probably not a lot of reasons to upgrade. If you're still on an M1 Max or an M1 Pro or even an M1, uh, the speed differences are gonna be quite a bit. And I'll have the video that shows all those in a couple weeks. 
And what I do know is that Lightroom, certain things in Lightroom are much faster and other things are pretty much the same. And same with Photoshop. Now, if you're doing any video compression, my screen flow compression, I gained another 20% savings in time, 25% savings in time. It was pretty substantial. As I said, I'll have those in a couple weeks, so watch for that video. Anyway, if you're having trouble with exports being kind of slow, maybe you could give this a try. Let me know in the comments if it helps you or not. Hey, thanks for watching. See ya.